back you guys to another video if you are new don't forget to like and subscribe at the bottom and leave a comment if you have any questions and i will try my best to answer them for you um you guys i'm so excited to have you guys back with me i feel like it's been forever even though it's probably only been like a week and a half i think probably i don't even know and um before we go any further i hope I know y'all noticed my nails and that one is missing, but we are not going to talk about that. We're going to leave that out, okay? But um, as you can see, the title of this video is How I Became an Event Planner. And the main thing to that is I just started. I just started, you guys. It's something I always had a passion for. I always loved, you know, decorating and doing events and stuff like that. Um, no, I did not go to school for it, but you can, um, you can go to school. I am looking into going to school, you know, if I really want to get like those high end clients, like that's my goal. Like I'm shooting for that goal, but, um, it's, it's hard, it's, it's hard work, you know, as in staying focused for me and keeping organized. Cause I am not an organized person, but I am becoming one because of this business i'm really not i got totes in the closet full of stuff but we're getting that situation situated and handled but um i really it's just you know you just i use your resources that's what i did um for my church i uh i would do like events and stuff like that or i set up for dinners i actually did a christmas event and i put some pictures up here for you guys to see they should pop up <laughs> and I also did some other, you know, like dinners and stuff like that. I just set up, you know, table setups. But I used those, took pictures, and I posted them just to get myself out there. And I've just been grinding. I've been working hard and, you know, just trying to make a name for myself. Um, I always told myself I was going to own my own business before I was 30. And I never really knew what that was because, trust me, I was into everything. I wanted to work, you know, do criminology i don't know if i'm saying that right but something along that aspect <laughs> i wanted to become an emt it was it was a bunch of stuff i wanted to do but it's funny it's because the one thing i knew i was good at i didn't really pay attention to because it just came to me naturally i was just like oh yeah you know but when i really sat back i'm just like hmm i should really i should get into this and that's basically how i just started i I was working a job and it took a lot in me to actually leave that job and I was just like wow I can't believe I did it I was scared I'm like what am I gonna do is this gonna work but you know you never know until you try and it has it has been a bumpy road but it has been really good and it has been fun you know because I'm I'm doing something that I love and so that's been the best part for me you know and all I did, you know, like I told you, took pictures, use that mock-up, and I put them on my Instagram, my Facebook. I made business Instagram and Facebook accounts, and I put those up there just to get myself out there. And basically, it's just fake it till you make it. That's what I say um, <laughs> for me, basically. And I also created a website, and I should show you guys that just to show you a little bit. It's not like a crazy website or nothing like that but it's something simple I, I do want to upgrade my website though but yes so as you guys can see here this is my website I actually created this website using godaddy.com and I like it because it was easy for me um to design it and how I want it stuff like that I will you know I can always go in and upgrade it you know the background and how I want it to look and the colors and stuff so that's what I really like about it um, this right here is my home page. You go here, you can book um, book with me and it'll it take you right to the service page where I, you know, I'll let people know what I do. Because not only do I do event planning, I also do home decor and decoration and design and stuff like that. I do gift baskets and such and just anything that has to do with like, you know, decorating and decor and just 
anything you know i do you know monogram cups and stuff like that so it's a little bit of everything what that i don't have on the website though stuff like that like the cups and stuff will usually be posted on my instagram and my facebook which will be in the bio for you guys to see that and here you could just book a consultation it's a phone consultation as you can see it's free just to you know get a gist of what you would like and stuff like that here are the baskets and just the price list and stuff like that this right here is the photo gallery and it's just and it just shows you a little bit of the stuff that i did it has some photos from the um, dinners and the christmas event the christmas event like i was telling you guys earlier and just i actually do baskets all year round so that's not just for holidays so even if you guys you know write me or you know contact me for a basket i am willing to do those because that's an all year round thing you know so when the numbers for events and you know, like home home decorations and stuff are down i am always making baskets that's just a way to keep you know extra money coming and this is the contact page. You can leave a message, you know, your name, email, stuff like that, what you're interested in, other notes, got my hours, determine conditions. I did not do a privacy policy yet, but I am getting to that. And here you can just click on and actually create a little account and it keeps track of your bookings and I'm able to, you know, send you a reminder for your phone consultations and meetings that I would have so that is it you guys and it's i like it it's easy to operate like i said and it's it was fun to make so as you guys can see that's the website that i had and it was like i said it was fun doing and creating um only one thing i have to say to you guys if you guys really love something and you're very good at it just go out there and do it you know you never know till you try i had that moment like what if i fail what if it doesn't succeed you know even it is what it is i always say because i can never feel bad you know because i actually went out there and i tried it and i did it you know nothing nothing is going to be easy it's everything you know something that you, it's always going to be hard work even if you love it but you know it's it's funner because you're doing something that you love and that's that's really that was it for me you know you guys that's why i really got into it because i'm like i love what i do and it's fun and it lets it helps me express myself i get to create and you know really let go and let free and just get crazy with it once you know make it look real nice well you guys that is all for my video today like i said before if you are new don't forget to like and subscribe and comment down below i will see you guys in my next video